Hey, hey, YouTube family. Got a feeling it's about to get real. I'm a changed man, so should I change my friends? Or is it all right for me to keep the same friends that I had? Well, you know it's about to go down here on Casting Cares, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up, everybody out there? All right, we're back, and uh, this is a tough one because let's just be real. Seems like it's easier to befriend somebody in the world than it is in the church. But if you allow me a little bit of your time, I want to share with you what the Word of God has to say about this very issue. Then I'll even share some thoughts of my own. So let's go. So in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, the Bible says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? Seems pretty straightforward, right? I mean, even in the Old Testament, God was pushing Israel toward this thing of separation. He definitely did not want them to be like the other nations were. In fact, that's the very reason they end up going into captivity in Babylon anyway, because of their idol worship, because their priests and their prophets were lying, because there was so much injustice socially that God just couldn't take it anymore. He didn't want their sacrifices because they were just like everybody else. And this doesn't seem to stop. Even in the New Testament, he preaches cleanliness and sanctification by separation as we saw in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. So let's admit a few things. Number one, we are not the same. The Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We don't want to talk the same anymore. We don't want to walk the same anymore. We don't want to think the same anymore. And this is a problem, not for us, but for the people that we used to hang out with, for the people that we used to associate ourselves with, we don't mix anymore. And so that is something that we really need to look at when it comes to whether I should be keeping these people as a friend or whether I should be trying to just discard our friendship and just go on our separate ways. One thing that I have learned that an effective friendship is based off of common goals. If you two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, if you all don't have a common goal, then trust me, you are going to end up separating anyway. I've had plenty of friends come and go in my lifetime. I still love them. You know, I wish the best for them. But I noticed that in life, we started to separate, whether it be by beliefs or whether it be by our work ethic. I mean, there are some friends that I had that aren't doing anything for themselves. There are friends that before I decided to turn my life around, decided to just kick me to the curb because I wasn't about anything. And trust me, I wasn't about anything. Number two, Jesus sort of has the tendency to um, pick your friends out for you sometimes. What? Why, why, would he, why would he do that? Look, with a change of mindset comes a change of environment. And trust me, God will do just that. And another thing, when you surrendered your life over to Christ, it was really no longer about your will, but it's about his will. And God will set you up with people that will help you to thrive in his will. He said that he gives all things to us pertaining to life and to godliness. And that is just what he's looking for from us. So by this, you can already tell how I feel about this issue. I mean, if the Bible says it, hey, I'm all for it. Now, that's not to say we shouldn't be nice or outgoing to those of them that don't believe the same thing that we believe because that would just be foolish. You know, God said with loving kindness, have I drawn them? And he expects us to do the same thing. You can definitely catch more flies with honey than with vinegar, okay? But spoiler alert, there are even some friendships in the church that are toxic. But we gonna let go and let God on that one. So in all, we should really try our best to get ourselves closer to God. And if God requires us to come out from among them and be separate and touch not the unclean thing and he'll receive us, then we really ought to take that to heart. Trust me, 
God's plan is better anyway. So to my viewers, if you like what you heard, please consider subscribing, hit that like button, and don't forget to click the bell for notifications. Share this video to every one of your friends and family members if at all possible. And we'll be seeing you here next time on Casting Care.